Okay, so in our last video, we looked at NRL teams yet to win a premiership. Now we're going to look at their rival league in Australia, the AFL. And there are three teams in the AFL that are yet to win a premiership. And what is very, very striking is that they've all joined the league since 1995, which is exactly the same as in the NRL. And they all play in non-traditional AFL locations, which is similar to aspects of, of the NRL with their expansion. Now, we're going to start with the Fremantle Dockers. Now, they joined the league in 1995. Uh, they had their only wooden spoon in 2001. They made the grand final in 2013, so 18 years after entering the league, and they won the minor premiership in 2015, 20 years after entering the league. So it was a slow burner to begin with, and then they have um, some brief success, you know, in a way, um, about a decade ago. They haven't been able to replicate uh, their minor premiership or grand final appearance, and they've sort of stagnated since then. But it did take them a while to get the wheels in motion to start threatening uh, to become a successful side and actually win championships. So they were a decent side for a period. But they haven't kicked on since 2015 in the way that I think the AFL would have hoped. Uh, now, the West Coast Eagles are their biggest rivals in the Perth metro area, and they have had success, far more success than the Fremantle Dockers. So while the rivalry is there, it's a, a lopsided rivalry, and Fremantle have struggled to you know, maintain what they were doing in the 2010s. Now we go over to Sydney, Greater Western Sydney, to be exact. Now they joined in 2010, and off the bat, they struggled. Uh, they have two wooden spoons, the first wooden spoons in 2012, their second wooden spoons in 2013. So when Fremantle are making a grand final, GWS are having their second wooden spoon. However, in a six-year spell, they go from wooden spoonist to making grand final in 2019, and they are trending in the right direction. Uh, there's been a lot said about you know their home stadium. Technically, they're going to be based in Canberra, but they represent the whole greater Western Sydney and New South Wales area. Um, have they got that home stadium location correct? And there's been a, a lot of debate about you know expanding to where they are because you have the Sydney Swans who are a very successful side. But they have made a grand final and they're starting to turn a corner in regards to on-field products. But to begin with, they did struggle. Two wooden spoons. And then we go north to the Gold Coast, to the Gold Coast Suns to be exact. They joined in 2011, their first season's a wooden spoon season. They also have a wooden spoon in 2019, which is very, very freaky in a way because the Gold Coast Titans in the NRL have wooden spoons in exactly the same seasons. And this has been an issue with the Gold Coast area and professional sports. His teams in Gold Coast tend to struggle for a variety of reasons. Um, is it because Brisbane is, is the big metro area uh, in, in Queensland? Is it because um, of the Brisbane Lions and the Brisbane Broncos snapping up the best athletic talent in South Queensland. Variety of reasons, but for whatever reason, Gold Coast sides tend to struggle. The Gold Coast Suns have always struggled. They've not been a particularly good team. Um, now, the difference between the AFL and the NRL is the AFL has a draft system, which is different to the NRL, which just has youth development systems via the clubs. That is the main difference between the AFL and the NRL is that draft system. Now, there has been criticisms of that draft system, uh, Australian sport is different to North American sport in how you know grassroots development takes place. Um, but the AFL has brought in this draft system to make the league more competitive. And the fact that only three teams out of 18 have failed to win a grand final tells you that actually the league has become a lot more competitive since the salary cap and draft systems were brought in in the mid-80s. But out of these three teams, which one wins a grand final first? On recent trends, it would be most likely Greater Western Sydney as they have the most recent grand final appearance. Fremantle have been a more established side and are reasonably well run and have a very solid fan base and a very strong rivalry with the West Coast Eagles. And they've also won a minor premiership, so they've had that little bit of taste of a bit more success. But they, otherwise, they've been a middle-of-the-road team that hasn't really kicked on. 
And will the Gold Coast ever really have a, a grand final push? Because they're still waiting to have a grand final. So out of these three teams, which one do you think is going to win a grand final first? I think it's going to be GWS with their recent trend in form. Looking historically at things, looking at their wooden spoons being in their early existence, but in more recent times, making a grand final. Fremantle have been pretty much middle of the road. They've had that brief period in the mid-2010s where they made a grand final and had a minor premiership, but haven't kicked on. Gold Coast still waiting for them to wake up, really. Um, now, looking at the locations of teams, bearing in mind the majority of teams and the majority of players come from the state of Victoria and the Melbourne metro area. And it can be hard for expansion teams in non-traditional locations to attract players. It can be. Uh, and when you have a, a draft system, when you have expansion drafts, again, the existing teams are going to, there's going to be expansion rules and you're going to be able to protect players. And the players that are available are not necessarily the top level players that you want to have to build a team around. So it can be hard to, to build a team from scratch as Gold Coast uh, and have proven and to a certain extent GWS. But we'll see how things pan out. But only three teams in the AFL are yet to win a premiership, very similar to the NRL. And all those three teams, out of those three teams, they've all joined the league since 1995, which is, again, similar to the NRL, with all the teams yet to win a premiership in the NRL have all joined since 1995. So the parallels are there, uh, but we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll see out of those three teams which one is the first to win a grand final. Uh, we'll see if they can make grand finals again, because... Out of the three of them, there's only two grand final appearances in total. So there we go. Thank you very much uh, for watching. Place your thoughts in the comment section below. Who do you think is going to get success first? And for me, for now, is goodbye. And I'll have some more content for you very, very soon.